Welcome back everybody. A little bit more everybody's golf on PlayStation 4. Canaloa Beach out this morning for you. Uh, Tornado Cups, which is always fun. Uh, and we just want to kind of play nine holes, get ourselves a little bit warm, because it's International Tournament Day. So I want to get a get a round in. It's a par five. And it's Lucky Chance as well, which is really good. Uh, okay, so we're going to stand a ball on my custom clubs with all the length. Uh, wind's not too bad, so we should just be able to beat this one. Oh, nice shot. Just going to clear that tree, just going to drop there. Yeah, a little bit of rough, but that's okay. Yeah, see, see, people are still driving 20 yards past me. So, just under 200 left. It's Tornado Cups. I'd love to think I could go for the 200 yard chip in. I've got my feeling that I'm not going to do that. We are going to fly a bit right. Sorry, fly a bit left. So maybe we just, just pin it up by the pin. Let's see how our luck is. I mean, anywhere close gives me the eagle chance. Not in the sand, mind you. Oh, just in the sand. So... Let's see if we can chip this up now. Go on. Oh, just a bit short. So, birdie putt, but uh, that was eagleable. For sure. Yeah, it feels like a drop shot with Tornado Cups, that. Hole two is a par three. That's a nice coat you've got there, mate. Okay, par three, pale wind. Okay. And again, this is all about letting the cup do the work. I think the line's not going to be good enough here unless it pitches toward it. Yeah, weight was spot on. It's the sway, because I've got all the power on these clubs. I haven't necessarily got the control. But again, Tornado Cups means your chip-ins are a bit easier. I can't believe it. I got a Largely the rule is just get it anywhere in the vicinity and, and let it pick it up. Three. It's a par four. And again, this is another one where it's just massively uphill. I've never really figured out where to land it. And you can see they're, they're getting up there. The problem has been for me, you end up here and you roll off into the sand. But again, it's much preferable to the alternative. There's a real question about whether I can get it up there, but um, we'll go for it. We'll go for it. I mean, we will end up in the sand, but Tornado Cups means you got a chance. And Suzuki likes it. Yeah, it won't stay up. It'll, it'll roll off. It'll roll off. It might hold. No, yeah, it just holds in the rough. Okay. So it's going to kick right and the wind's right. We're a heck of a way uphill. But again, line's alright, line's alright. Oh, pace was just, just as shy again. I mean, that's two we've dropped just out of the range of the cup. But, you know, three birdies to start. It's a par four. Yeah, and this one, really long downhill hole, so it doesn't really help you. You can't exploit the power. And we've maxed our three wood up, but it feels like a three wood sort of hole, so we'll get it down there, try and stop it. Oh, good shot. Give ourselves a good approach in. It looks nice and deep on the green, that pin. So you've got plenty of green to work with, not that you'll need it. You basically want to be pitching it on the flag and, and hoping the cup picks it up for you. It's a tiny bit of wind, but almost nothing really. Probably over pitched that, but you never know. Line's a bit off. Yeah. To 10 foot for birdie. Again, massively forgiving on the putting side of things, Tornado Cups. Oh, it's 
It's a powerful. So again, we just don't have the the altitude to drive that particularly. So we'll try and get it up here. So we're trying to land here, but of course the the altitude means it'll it'll chop a lot off as we go. Yeah, good shot. We just want to get it up on that top tier of fairway. Oh, I've done it again at this last time. Just ran it on too far. Look at the gauge. Oh, it's actually unplayable. Yeah. I'm going to have to declare that unplayable. Rats. But, you know, better to declare it unplayable than mess it up. If you've seen my other videos. <laughs> I've had some interesting shots. Awesome. Got a chance of a part. Oh, just just offline, just offline. Focus. So the birdie was possible there, but we missed it. Even pass. All right. But again, that was all to do with the position on the tee shot. Oh, six is a par three. So again, another par three. Little bit of tailwind, little bit downhill. Again, the sway on the club will not help me here. What's the pace like? Yeah, pace was good, line was a bit off. Okay, so we've got a bit of bit of a bit of slope here. But again, nice window of error from the cup. It would have been a bit late. So four four five to finish. It's a par four. Seven is the first of them. Again, we can just really whack it. And we can stay kind of a little bit left here. Just as it will naturally roll to the right. In fact, I think I ended up in the bunker last time. That bunker on the right sort of comes into play at this length. Yeah. Will it hold up? Will it hold up? Will it hold up? Will it hold up? Might just hold in the rough. Yeah. If you can get it a bit further, there's a bit more fairway there. So it's going to kick right. Wind's going to bring it back to the left. In fact, let's have another look at that. What's the putting? Okay, putting stuff's going to bring it right as well. So it's going to kick right. The wind will bring it back. And then it wants to roll right. So maybe about there. We need a bit of extra power to account for the ground run. How's that one looking? Champion. Yeah, pace was good, but the line was a little bit out. But again, super easy putt for the birdie. Nice and easy. Okay. So our nine under's not under threat unless I can pick an eagle up. It's a par four. You may have seen me try this before. So what I've tried to do before is, is do that. Where I actually ended up was in the in that little bit of sand just in front so it kind of skipped on the water um what the heck we'll go for it we'll go for it i mean i won't make i won't make the green i just don't have enough length but it should get the water skip and the question is kind of get it up and on oh look at that Lucky bones. that's the first time i've managed that that is nuts so we got chance for the eagle I did need the eagle to get the nine under. In she goes. So, par five to go. We're on chance for our nine under. I mean, we could. Could get an eagle. This is this is a hard hole to eagle, to be fair. I mean, the fairway chokes right up here. Okay. A little bit of fade on it, see if we can just kind of get a good bit of the fairway. Where's it going to land? Yeah, it did it this last time, just kicks off. Might come back on. Yeah, that's quite nice. I'll take that. So 2.25 to go. Nice good approach in as well. You know, you've got a chance of stopping it really, which is kind of the key bit. Four won't be enough. Three iron. Yeah, slightly choked up three. I might be the shot here. Ah. 
Oh, not the sand, not the sand, not the sand. Oh, yeah, just in the sand. Never mind. We've got a reasonable approach in there, so it'll kick a little bit right. We'll lose a bit of power, but the wind will bring it back, and the slope will bring it back. So let's get it past for sure. Oh, just overpitched it. But again, tough part, but should be makeable. There we go. So we got the nine under. We did drop a couple of shots there, I think it's fair to say. But it's reasonable. And we should get the lucky chance objects for today as well. Yeah. Comms error isn't the servers are running a day off. I definitely won't end up first. Well, let's see what we win today. It's yours. Woo! A commando. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time for a little bit more everybody's golf.